electrical devices installed in our homes sometimes does not work properly. The reason behind this is the voltage coming to our home, this voltage falls short. If the voltage in your home goes down, then at that time we have to check the voltage in our home. To check voltage in our home, we have to use a multimeter. If you don't want to connect this multimeter always and check, then in place of this, what you can do is the energy meter with power supply going from energy meter, you can connect a voltmeter. If we connect voltmeter with energy meter, then this voltmeter always shows the voltage. Along with measuring the voltage, sometimes we have to measure current also. And if you want to measure current, then you have to use a clamp meter also. If here also you don't want to use a clamp meter, then in place of this, you can directly use a M meter. So here the voltmeter I have and the emitter I have, how both of these are connected with energy meter so that we can check the voltage and current. This we are going to learn here. So friends, let's start the video. This single phase energy meter I have, the first terminal of this energy meter, with this terminal you have to connect the phase supply. So take the phase supply wire and connect to this point. After that, at third number terminal here, you have to connect neutral power supply. Now from this second number terminal you will get the phase supply for output. So I am using a piece of wire here. Take this wire and connect with this second number terminal here. After this at four number terminal here I will get neutral power supply. So at this terminal I am connecting a black wire. So connections of this energy meter is done. Now the energy meter used in our home. The power supply going from this energy meter is connected directly with the main MCB used in our home. So I am taking these two wires and connecting directly with our main MCB. Here I provided phase supply and neutral supply to this MCB. Now through this MCB power is supplied to our home. For now to explain you everything I am connecting this lamp with this MCB. So I am taking phase supply and neutral supply wire of this lamp and connect the wires with output terminals of MCB. In your home this much connection must be there. In this whole connection you have to simply connect voltmeter and ammeter. If you go for connection of this type of voltmeter and M meter, it may be costly for you. Along with this, these two meters are little big, so you require more space for connection. So if you want to check voltage and current in your home, then you can buy this type of digital voltmeter M meter and you can use this easily here. This digital voltmeter M meter I have now, by using this, I can check the voltage as well as current also. Besides, when you use this, then voltage and current in our home can be observed accurately here. So this meter I have, I am putting this in this box. Friends if you want this meter or you want to buy any kind of product of CNC company, then I provided a link in description. You can go to the link and can buy the products. And if you use my coupon code electrical, then you will get discount also. Okay, if you buy this meter, then along with this, you will get a CT. We use this CT to measure current. Take this CT and the phase supply wire here, I mean the phase supply going from energy meter to your home. With this wire, you have to connect this. What you have to do is simply take the phase supply wire and pass this wire inside of CT. After this, connect this wire with the MCB. After this, you have to use two wires. Take these two wires and to this MCB to the point where we connected phase supply and neutral supply in this MCB. With these wires only, you have to connect these wires. So I connected these two wires here. Take other ends of these two wires and the emitter voltmeter we have. With this, you have to connect wires. So I'm connecting these two wires with this meter here in this way. You can see I connected phase supply and neutral supply at these two terminals. Now with this meter, you can see a cable is connected. Take this cable out from here. From inside of this, take this cable out. After this, pack this box. This connector I have, connect this connector with the connector of CT. In this way I did the connection. So to this meter, you only have to provide phase supply and neutral supply and the cable connected with this is to be connected with CT. So only this much connection you need to do. Now this energy meter I have, connect this with power supply. After connecting this with power supply, you can see it started showing the voltage. I am zooming in. You can see here 237 voltage it is showing. It means the power supply which is now going to my home is of voltage 237 volts. Now I am turning on this MCB. After turning on the MCB, it is showing the voltage but it is not displaying current. It is because this lamp I have is of 15 watt. 
very less current is flowing in this lamp this is why this meter is unable to show the current okay for explaining you i am connecting a heavy load here with output terminals of this mcb i connected a socket now with this socket i am connecting this cable here after connecting the cable this drill machine i have here i am turning on this you will see that current will be displayed here you can see here current is displaying so i hope you understood how this digital voltmeter ammeter is connected with this energy meter so that how much voltage is coming in our home and how much ampere current is flowing can be checked very easily here friends i hope you like this video if you like this video give like on my video if you are new to the channel subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video